Hello, welcome to Own the Handcrafts podcast. My name is Vivian. Thank you for watching my video again, and welcome all the new viewers. This podcast is all about knitting, crochet, and anything related to it, and I hope you will like it. So, finally, the weather is getting cold enough in Taiwan for me to wear my finished projects out. Is so happy. I'm so happy about that. And、uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you my、uh, projects on my needles, my finished projects, and so on, and some a little bit about what have I done in the past few weeks. Okay, so let me show you my first finished projects. Okay. It's an Santa scarf from Brooklyn Treat. Uh, the wool people. I think it's twelve or thirteen. I can't remember. Anyway, it's this one. The long scarf. I knit with the Bish and Bush lamb's wool. See this pattern. Such a beautiful patterns and really easy to knit. And I love my choice of the color because、uh, it's quite suitable for、uh, the clothes I'm wearing. It's really a nice color combination anyway. Because and it's、um, also the winter like、uh, autumn with winter color as well. So I I don't really have this color in my wardrobe. So I think I made a very good choice. Okay, so. Uh, normally, when I wear this kind of scarf, uh, I will do something like this. When when the weather is really cold, I will do like like this and make a tie, something like this. So I I can keep my neck very warm. But when the weather is not that cold, I will do something like. This, a sim simple a simple one, and not going to be too warm, but I can also protect my neck as well. Or something like this when I'm in indoor, and it's simple and nice to wear it. Okay, so this is my first finished project. Okay, the second one is the one I'm wearing right now. It's a dark cloud sweater designed by Hohi Lockteli. See, let me show you. It's a. I think it's kind of a sweater and poncho combination, because see here's a really big, overlapped, part. And I'm doing this kind of sleeves, and I made, I actually made the terrible mistakes. See here. I don't know why I I will do this. I guess maybe because when I'm watching, uh, maybe when I'm reading, to concentrate, and I forgot to do this garter stitch. It's so funny, but luckily it's inside of this, uh. Not inside. Uh, I can hide when I'm wearing like this. People won't won't really see it, so it's fine. And some of my friends said, "Oh, maybe you can, uh, sew some different color yarn on top of it and make it your special mark." But anyway, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't want to get too much attention for my mistakes, so I will just leave it. But anyway, uh, I knit this uh sweater with wool folk yarn, and I really love it because um, I think this this yarn is the the most soft yarn I've ever ever used. Uh, let me show you, and this yarn is so special because see, the white part, is, uh, is like chain like it. The white part is. Cotton, 
on it made by Chen and uh, making as a tube and wrapping the black merino wool inside and because of this kind of structure um, it made uh, the whole sweater very strong and not easy to lose the shape because uh, the, the chain tube is holding all the, the merino yarn inside I think maybe I should say lock it inside yeah. it's, it's so soft before blocking and after block is even more softer and I, I feel so amazed by that it's really nice and uh, even when I, I've been wearing this one for like four days already and I I think it's quite okay because I didn't wear anything inside only one like a t-shirt inside a sh the short sleeve one and I don't feel any itchy feeling and it's really nice and the shape is holding very well I'm really pleased it um, I think I I might use the same yarn in my uh, future project as well because I really like it and uh, my friend also joking with me because uh, I think they, they told me this sweater is the most fa uh, most fast finished project in my uh, in my knitting knitting life because I never finished a project so fast I think I only take it only took me like less in one month to finish the whole sweater I know it's crazy though because uh, I have some uh, some uh, tops I, I usually like uh, what should I say I usually finish uh, a top like more than two months to finish it so this one is really fast so I guess the reason why I can finish it so fast because I really want to wear something during the winter time which made by myself and uh, this yarn is thick and you know to knit with the thick yarn it's going to be faster than the fingering or like uh, lace yarn so it took me less than one month to finish it and I'm pleased I'm very happy and it's really nice and simple elegant design and it's looking really nice on me anyway so and uh, the, these are the two finished project I've made lately and the project on my needles my first my first project on my needles is this one learning to cry shower I know I already made one but I gave it to one of my friends because she's so love with my first finished one so I just gave it to her um, I still want to have one for myself so I need with, in, with the same yarn the blue monday yarn al alpaca yarn um, with the mohair silk mohair this one so I'm going to finish this one very soon I will show I will show you in the, the blocked uh, the finished one with blocked in my hopefully in my next video Okay, this this is the first one. Um, the the second project on my needles is this Olga's Santo shawl. Oh, before this one, I forgot to mention. I actually have one more finished project. It's a Vera's road trip shawl. It's a triangular shawl. Um, because in the 
uh, I bought I lent my my road shower to uh Tim Sneding who is doing the uh exhibition in Good Home Taiwan uh twenty nineteen uh last week. So because I um, I usually like to clean my finished project um after I finished it or I land it because um, I don't want to wear the 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 stuff which being touched by so many people so uh I after I get it back yesterday when the it when the exhibition finished I just put it to uh wash and reblocking so it's still wet right now so I couldn't show you but I uh if you are interested to see it you can uh go to my FB page and I actually put the very nice photo on my banners so you can see it. Or oh, and I oh, I will also show you in my next video as well. Okay, so the reason why I need the rope trip shower first is because I want to learn uh how to knit brioche. Because uh that shower in is knitted by garter garter stitch on top and with the brioche edge. And because it's just a small part, so I think maybe I can handle it. And actually I did. So after that brioche part, I chose Olga's Santo shower. And this shower is knit by whole brioche pattern. So in the in the beginning I just need to knit this small little part and then increase all the way up till here and because Olga's design is really interesting there is no limit to to say you have to end end somewhere you can end you can do as long as you want and as big as you want so I think I will just finish the whole whole yarn whole yarn and let's see how how big will be so this is the front and this is the back and I'm, I'm really happy with this color combination and oh the yarn I use is Isaya uh, spinning okay okay this is my second project on my needles and I store it in my lovely own doll bag see I also lent this bag uh, to things knitting uh, during the exhibition time and I put all my lovely pins on top and show people they can decorate the own doll bag like this way and see how lovely is this? I actually should do some embroidery, but I think I, the reason why I can't do it is because I think I might be regret after I really do it. Because with the pins, you can change it anytime. But if you do the embroidery, you can't just destroy it and redo it. It's such a waste, isn't it? So anyway, I love pins and uh, <coughs> this is it. And I actually have one more project on my needles and I I didn't do it for such a long time. It's a holiday top uh, uh, knitted with shiny linen yarn. And I hopefully I can finish by the summer next year and I don't really want to touch it for now because it's too it's not easy anyway after these two projects on my needles I think I will do another new project uh, it's a long sleeve sweater and I will use uh, Isaya Highland wool and I will show you all the details after I start to knit it in my next it uh in my next video. So that's it. 
and let, I think let's talk about something. Uh, what have I uh, what did I do in the past few weeks? Last week, I've joined a a a very good exhibition called uh Good Home Taiwan. And this year, two thousand and nineteen's topic is magic, uh, magic hour, and they invite a lot of like very high quality, uh, brand. They 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 are including like um clothing design, um accessories, like yarns, and like food wine. Beers, whiskey, coffee, and、um, also painting, and、um, stationery, you anything you can imagine, and they are all very good, very good quality and very good design. See, for example, I actually bought a, a earring right here. See these cute, lovely scissors. Actually, it can, it can move. It's so nice, and these buttons. So lovely, isn't it? And、uh, also, I bought a, a a skirt like this one. Let me show you. Yeah. See, this high waist skirt is really nice. It's a a hundred percent linen. So I can、uh, wear all my clothing with it. It's really nice and really light. And also some f-、um, uh, home goods and a lot of nice, delicious bread. So many nice things all happens in that exhibition. So it's really fun. I will add some footage after this video. So you can, uh, you can have a look about how exhibition, this kind of exhibition, happens in Taiwan. It's really nice, and I'm also really honored to be to be invited by Tings Knitting to help her to, uh, look after her uh booth. Um, it's really nice experience because I can know uh, uh, how people choose yarns and. Uh, what kind of yarns they like and what kind of uh pro problems they might uh have, and I can also share my experience to all the knitters and we exchange our different th uh thoughts. It's really interesting and I I I met a lot of uh friends um I never actual meet on IG and FB. So it's really nice and very happy to meet meet everyone. Very good experience. So, um, that's it. So I wish you have a very happy December. And if you like today's video, please give me a thumb up. And if you didn't. Submit my channel, please do it, so you won't miss my、uh, new message alarm. And、um, that's it. So if you if you have any thoughts, you want to let me know, or you want to see anything special, or you have any question about me, you want to ask me, you can leave. Uh, messages under this video, or just a、uh, me FB message or IG message me. So see you in next video. Bye bye. <laughs>